Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we hung out with Sumire and got her confidant restarted. So we got her up to rank 6. And then we played some darts with Akechi to get his baton pass rank up. Since we're potentially going to be using him. And... Yeah, a few other bits and pieces. Odds and ends. Did some fusion. That sort of thing. So, we're going to be continuing with that. I believe... That Sumire was available again. That's what we're going to be doing. Be focusing on her... Confidant while it's available. We gotta make sure we have a conversation with the rest of the crew as well, but we'll get around to that. So, let's get to it. Let's go hang out with Sumire. Alright. We'll be waiting in Kichijoji as usual. And we should still have our Faith Confidant, because I don't think we got rid of it. <sighs> yeah, these are all the same things. I, see. I think of taking a special lesson from the coach at my club. It's a special program that centers around boxer sizing. If you leave stress and it's open to the public, I think you could come along if you wanted. Yep. Let's go hang out. Thank you so much. I'll introduce you to Coach Hiroguchi san once my lesson ends. She's an amazing person. Person. She's been uh, guiding Kasumi and me since we were little. We should get going. Now let's head over. Uh, Kasumi helped me through this special regimen several times. It gets tough after a while. Your limbs start feeling heavier the longer you keep them up. Whenever we did this before, all I could focus on was how well Kasumi was doing, doing and how much I wanted to stop. Uh, Kasumi was probably disappointed in me. I got tired out so quick. Uh, were you frustrated? Not that I was frustrated. I just felt so miserable that I couldn't match up to Kasumi. She never doubted herself for a second, and then there's me. Oh, I think it's almost time for my coach to show up. I'm kind of nervous. Is she scary? Yes. You could say that. She's tough on us, but she's a great mentor. She's been helping Kasumi and me for a long time. Even though all my stupid delusions, is, you know, even through all my stupid delusions as Kasumi, she never stopped helping me. I don't know what I'd do without her. Uh, hello, Coach Hiroguchi. There she is. Sumire. Uh, maybe it's just my imagination, but you seem like your old self again. Yes, I'm sorry I worried you. Um, I've, I've been running away from what happened to my sister. So you realized. Are you okay now? Please listen to me. I'm not totally back to my normal self, but I'm working toward a new goal. I want to be the best in the world. So now, I'm going to do what I can as Samire. I see. By the way, who's this? Um, this is my senpai from school. We both came here for a lesson. So, oh, so you're... Fine. Let's have you go first, Samire. You can start with your combination. Uh, yes. She's got some amazing moves. Oh, so freaking fast. She really got those aggressive moves down. She really is just like her sister. Hmm. Okay, you can take a break. We'll do some more later. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing me here. Uh, so how did I do? I tried to put some real force into that combination. Hmm. You said you were going to perform as Sumire this time. I didn't see that at all. Also, out there was Kasumi, or a shadow of her, at least. 
What? Assume you define her performance by her boldness, yes, but that's not something you can appropriate for yourself. That came from the energy within her, that's what made her a Kasumi. I told you to think about who you really are. It seems like you still don't understand what I meant. Hmm. You stop hiding behind Kasumi. If you keep denying yourself like this, how can she still call you her rival? Huh? What's that supposed to... I never wanted to draw attention to it, but Kasumi had a very competitive streak. She hated to lose. She would always tell me. She was so jealous of her little sister and her delicate, graceful style. I can't lose to her, she said. She wanted you to see that. She... she said that? That's impossible. Kasumi could do anything, and I... I was nothing. I said all I wanted to say, but I suggest you think a little harder about it. Hmm. Okay, it's your turn now. Get ready. <sighs> you alright? Thank you, but I'm fine. I noticed she was quite impressed with your physical abilities. Well, we have been going to the gym. Uh, compared to you, though, I was pitiful. Me? Graceful? Oh, I think about it. I guess that's the one thing my coach used to compliment me on. But even with that, I couldn't match Kasumi's performance at all. Now she says Kasumi saw me as a rival? I don't believe it. I... I mean, all I was doing was imitating her, even since the beginning. I was just following Kasumi. That was fine in the beginning. I loved being with Kasumi, and it was fun. But ever since I started noticing the difference in our gymnastic skills, one thing became clear. I'll always be somewhat less than Kasumi. I'm just worthless after all. That isn't true. Thank you very much. I uh, think you were saying that. You're very kind, Senpai. Still, so something occurred to me when Coach told me what Kasumi said. I realized, just like she wanted to show me what she could do, I still want you to see my own abilities. Remember? Like when I tried to show off back at the batting cages? <laughs> oh, maybe that's what I need to chase. Maybe that feeling can help me get some confidence. Sounds like even Kasumi liked my more subtle and delicate moves, so if I mix it with her aggressive style... Uh, you'll become stronger. Alright, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to step up my routine. If the key here is showing you what I can do, then I just need you to watch me again. Senpai, will you go out with me again? <laughs> of course, and we'll just... Keep Thank it friendly. So much. As long as I've gotten you behind me, Senpai, I can keep moving forward. Alright, we got Harrison Recovery, rank 7. Alright, All right, I'll think about what else I can do when I figure it out. I'll let you know. Oh, is it time already? Let's get going. All right, max HP increased by five. Oh, Senpai, thank you for coming with me today. Coach Hiroguchi's so strict, isn't she? She wasn't going easy on you at all. Uh, she used to make me and Kasumi work so hard. She was so harsh, even she even made me cry a couple times. Kasumi said she was probably tough on us because she saw our potential. Thanks to Kasumi supporting me with her strength, I kept working hard. It didn't seem like you were struggling at all, though. You might be just as tough as Kasumi. Amazing. Um, I love a good challenge. Oh, I see. So you let the struggle fuel you. I wish I could do that. I can't stop thinking about what she mentioned, though. My own energy, huh? I guess I'm the only one who can find that answer. But I'll try with everything I have. For now, though, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Alright. Ah! The uh, beef bowl place wants me to work, which we're not gonna do. Ooh. Crossword. Um, tonight, on the counselor, we will be discussing the current situation in many companies. 
With things like sexual harassment, power harassment, and death from overworking happening, immediate change is necessary. That's why big companies are beginning to hire counselors, and... <sighs> working is already hard enough as it is. Hopefully this improves their work environment somewhat. Alright, let's see what the crossword has us do. Are you gonna play crossword puzzles? You have other stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What lights do for store signage? Illuminate? It fits. Okay. Lady Liberty's light is a tour. And birthday cake topper. That is a candle. Yep. Called Denshoku, literally decorative lighting. Light sources like LED strips or light bulbs illuminate signs or scenery to increase awareness of ads. At first, the only colored LED lights were red. Once green, blue, and true white LEDs were developed, the entire spectrum became available to advertisers. All right. I see. Uh, I gotta get those RGB LEDs. All right, so, um, options. See, hi, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I think what we really should do is go ahead and head over to darts. And uh, play darts with Sumire. Welcome. What do you play? What do you want to do? Thank you. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. using our own dart sets. All right, so who's coming along? Hey. Yusuke and Haru. Um. All right, we're gonna be playing 301. All right, so that should be much easier well, let's go. to get her to you got finish on her round so that we can get two in one shot. All right, let's go. Good effort. All right, one sixty one. You could potentially finish it off, but you probably won't. Oh, you're going to leave me with twenty one. Okay, not a problem. Senpai, I'm counting on you. All right, so we just need something that is pretty low value, like uh, I don't know, four over there. Huh? 
This is my last round. I have to make a count. My turn. What should we do? I can finish it, but what would be the best way to throw here? I guess we'll go with throw like a gymnast. I was wondering what this nope. is about. Now are you gonna bust us? Yep. I'm so sorry. I'm counting on you. All right. Well, we're gonna have to do another round. Hopefully. Sorry, Haru. Uh, we're calling it a day. So? Hmm. I had so much fun. That should do it for now. Goodbye. Uh, hey, guess what? They finally granted my wish. So now, oh, geez, we're still on the train, you know. What's this about a wish? They added a new course to the Yongenjaya batting cages. It's amazing. I never would have thought that it could... Hey, what are you looking at me like that for? Let's check it out together on the way home. Mm. New course? He sure seemed fired up about it. Let's get started. Well then, let's get class started. I hope you remember what we've gone over until now. Well, oh yeah, we're getting an opportunity to do something. What's this? What do you want to do? I guess we could read. Book to help men not get lost while visiting amusement parks. I All right. Okay, what about uh Shitamachi Reborn? Uh Asakusa, we already know about that place. Okay. Trying to find if there's anything in here. Tokyo Shrines. Ah, oh, there we go. A Bible for Shrine Lovers. Meiji Shrine, huh? Seems like a mystical place. The famous spiritual spot, well known for its walking paths. Quiet places like that seem nice. To be able to really relax. Okay. Oh. All right. Not sure we'll actually go, but you know, it's unlocked. There's nothing in particular. Sorry for the wait. Let's collect ourselves and return to our lesson. Yep. <sighs> All right. It is raining. So we do not have Kasumi available. Wow, nobody's available today. That's unfortunate. I mean, there's Takemi. I guess we go hang out with her.
All right, well. I mean, it is potentially a good opportunity to go knock out something in mementos. We have two targets. The mother who neglects her daughter, and this is the boy who wishes for his own death. I'm trying to think if that's what I want to do. I mean, it is an opportunity because there's really nothing else to do. All right, I guess we'll pop in there real quick. Nope. Hmm. Uh, we're not heading into the palace. Yes. We have plenty of time. All right, let's view the requests. Listen up. Yeah, the boy's wishing for his own death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. We don't need to really go over all this. Agreed. Yes. I am in favor. <laughs> I don't think so. What? I think that I played the wrong audio. Yeah. Uh, I'll play along for now. <laughs> yeah, of course. It, it's just uh, we're sense. talking about the guy. Yeah, mother who is neglecting her child. Making proper meals. Then. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're right. Mm. All right. So there we go. We've we've got them ready to go. Let's go ahead and head into me mementos. Let's All go. Right. I'm gonna bust loose. Should hopefully be relatively quick. Mm, yeah. Let's go. Oh, is it time? And I'll show you just how hard I've been training. All right. Let's head to the rest area. At least this rest area. A preceding area. Okay. Well, then let's head to the preceding rest area and see if it's higher or lower. Alright. So preceding area. Let's go. Which is down in this case. Well, Sumire and um, Treasure Chest Akechi do still need some levels. Target on this floor. There's a treasure. Sin. Let's go. That's 
That's uh, Kuniko Kagami. Let's change her heart for her child. Okay, so this is the mother neglecting her kid. Hey. Kuniko Kagami, you are the mother who doesn't probably care for her children, correct? What do you mean? My children? The Phantom Thieves? I know, I really do. I know that you're right, but I can't. Please, leave me alone. I don't deserve to live. Hmm. Something is wrong with her. I may have thought of something. Could this be what people call self-neglect? Not being able to sustain a normal life to the point where it's damaging to their health? I remember the request saying something about their room being the room being messy. Huh? Not only was she neglecting her children, but herself as well. My father and mother died one after another, then my husband died too. Everyone who supported me is dead. I have no reason to live anymore. Hey. That's not true. What about your child? My child. No, leave me alone. I don't need anyone's help. My child would be happier to die with me. I have to take her with me. That's wrong. Yep. So annoying. I'll destroy you. Uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Stay away from me. Right, what are you going to be? Ah, I forget what that's called. Ooh, Reflex. Magic Wall. Persona. Wow. Die. What? It's strong and guns won't help. Be careful. Oh, really? And you put up a magic wall. Come. Okay, then. Let's do this. You repel lightning, okay? You're mine. Persona! That should have consumed the magic wall, which it did. And now you're shocked. Okay, even though shock is up. This is my other self. Take this. Persona. Okay, that got technical. Heal Yusuke up. Alright, Harris in recovery. Alright. Okay, what do we want to do? Try and see if we can get shock again, which we did. This is my other self. Let's see. Actually, let's swap you out for Makoto. Fox withdrawn. Sona. Go down. Defense up. Uh... Let's go. 
Alright, we'll uh, debilitate it. Which is essentially what that is. Let's do this. Let's do this, Joker. Alright, go for it. Are you trying to help me? Yes, I guess we are. A hundred grand. All right. When all my family members started passing away, I didn't know what to do. I lost the will to do anything. I couldn't even get out of bed on some days. I was even annoyed by my daughter when she would talk to me. I wished for her death. Sometimes I scare myself. How could I think of something so horrible? It's not too late to change. Oh, you're right. Not too late. Right now, I just want to go home and hug her. I'm sorry. And I'm going to start changing by doing what I can. Viral Hell Ring. All right. Another case solved. What's next? Do we keep exploring? Let's actually head back to the entrance. Because I think we're going to end the episode there. When we come back, we're going to you know, find that uh, the next target. And then we'll finish up here, head back, and keep working on confidants. All right, but for now... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.